Hey guys, I'm the 50s kid. During my rebuild, I let a little bit of coolant sit um, inside the cylinders uh, while the engine was still in the car. And I didn't come out till the next morning to clean it off. And when I did, it actually cleaned away a lot of the carbon. A little streak of carbon actually cleaned away from the piston. Uh, that's where the coolant was sitting. So, you know, that made me think how good is coolant for actually cleaning carbon off of pistons actually pretty good and i'm actually unsure of whether it's the water in the coolant that's actually doing it or if it's the ethylene glycol that's doing it or if it's both so i wanted to do a little experiment here i've got plain water here i've got my used coolant right here and in here i've got general purpose automotive lacquer thinner which actually has uh, methanol toluene and acetone in it so that's the good kind of lacquer thinner that you guys can get in all your states, I can't get that in here in California unless I go to the auto parts store. So I have that in here. That's sort of my own little homemade Berryman's Chem Dip kind of thing. And this is this has already worked really well for cleaning carbon off of pistons, by the way. So I know that this works. So I just want to see how well these things stand up to, uh, or how well these perform in addition to that. So we're just going to soak these pistons water there coolant right there and in here we'll go for the lacquer thinner looks like i have just enough to cover the piston maybe almost almost enough to cover the piston let's add just a touch more there we go so i think i will let these soak um I'll, uh, why don't we do this let's let it soak for an hour and then we'll come back and we'll just kind of investigate and see how well each solvent has done. Water is a solvent as well, by the way. So we'll, we'll come back after an hour and see what's what. And then, you know, depending on that, we'll, we'll go another 24 hours. Okay, so it's been an hour. Let's go ahead and check the water first. The reason I did water by itself, by the way, is, is because you know, water's been used to clean carbon off of uh, pistons for a long time. You would actually just dribble a little down your carburetor or, I guess, spray some into the intake while the engine's running. Uh, but then again, that's while the engine is running. So I don't know how well it's going to do just all by itself. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not that good. <laughs> actually, it didn't do very well at all. So let's just call the water a no-go, which is kind of about what I expected. Let's check out the coolant. I'm, I've got to be careful here. My glove just ripped open while I was putting it on, so I'll just be a little careful. It doesn't really so much matter with the coolant, but it does matter with the, the lacquer thinner. Okay, so after an hour, not so much with the coolant either. Really didn't really do anything. So we'll have to let that go overnight and see how well it does there. Okay, now the lacquer thinner after an hour. I can tell that that's actually doing something. It's actually loosened up the carbon quite a bit. So if I just kind of give it a little scrub here give it a little rinse there you can see that it's starting to come off hopefully you can see that you can see that it's uh it's coming loose you know it, it could use a lot more time obviously um but it's definitely doing something so we're gonna let that one go overnight as well just to uh just for the purposes of testing see how well it does overnight uh, the last time I did clean a piston in this stuff, I did let it go overnight. So that is what we'll let this do. Okay, so it's actually been two days, guys. Sorry, just uh, wasn't able to avoid that. But nevertheless, I think our experiment is still valid. Two days, one day, it's about the same. So water, no good. Really doesn't do much of anything. I mean, it did dissolve a little something. You can see there's some color to the water, but didn't do much good at all. I'm expecting better results from the coolant. Come on, actually. Well, that's uh, not as good as I would have thought though. 
which is strange. These are different pistons than, uh, than the ones from my car. These are the ones I pulled out of the, the junkyard um, in order to get those replacement connecting rods. So I don't know, this, they, they do have a, a different sort of look to them, a different, I don't know, a different sort of uh, uh, kind of carbon residue on them. But I don't know, it should still be the same, right? So I should have pulled this out, left it here. But nevertheless, it's still carbon. It still should have come off in the same way that the other one did. So that's, uh, that's just disappointing. But let's go ahead and check the one that probably did work. And you can see that that definitely did work. Let me just give that a little scrub with the brass brush just to kind of, you know, get the solids moving. Just give it a, you know, a little run around the edges here. You can see that it's just taking that stuff off. Still need to get new gloves. Give that a rinse. You can see most of it's coming clean. You just spend a little bit of time with the brush. You know, give it a wipe. You can get your pistons pretty clean. So yeah, lacquer thinner is my solvent of choice. It's half the price of chem dip. You get twice as much, half the price and twice as much. So how can you beat that? Or maybe it's the same price and twice as much and that's what it is. But yeah, um, automotive lacquer thinner, methanol, toluene, acetone. That's the good stuff. That's how you dissolve carbon. That's how you get things clean. Unfortunately, coolant, not so much. Uh, so I wonder what did happen when I left that little bit of coolant in my cylinder. You know, the piston was like this. There was a little bit of coolant resting down on the edge. And when I came out the next day, the, you know, the, the carbon was totally dissolved from the edge of that piston. I figured it was the coolant, but I don't know. I guess not. So if you like this video, if you learned something, please like and subscribe. I'm the 50s kid. Thanks a lot for watching.